other. Sixty-six thousand square kilometers in extent, this island just off the southern tip of India, its splendid and pristine beaches, washed by the warming tropical waters of the Indian Ocean, has often been referred to as the Pearl of the Orient by many travelers of old. The Greeks of the Ptolemaic period knew this land as Taprobani, and the Arabs of North Africa conducted brisk and fertile trade in pearls and spices and referred to the place as Serendip in their writings. Roman and Chinese coins used in ancient times in the early common era have been found in excavations conducted within the precincts of the first capital city at Anuradhapura, giving evidence of the contact and converse the people and the nation's royalty had enjoyed with those other renowned civilizations and cultures. For all of its splendid roots in the past, Sri Lanka also offers an eminently vibrant contemporary experience in hospitality, comfort and entertainment. The city of Colombo has emerged in the last 200 years or so as the principal port and commercial capital. Today, it shimmers as a hub of modern commerce with a plethora of shopping opportunities and sites to delight along with attractive dining options. Perhaps the most attractive are the friendly people. Ours is an island culture and typically tropical. The feelings are generally warm and bring all people, religions and even languages within its embrace with the least hint of prejudice. <laughs> <laughs> 